everyone. Welcome to Vic Ratchie Field for the first game for the Geneseo Knights. And Schmidt starts off with a strike here. Jessica Rem up to the plate, number three. Sophomore outfielder. And a called strike there on the outside corner. Wasn't Rem's pitch. Close, though. Wouldn't be surprised to go back to the exact same spot yet again. And Schmidt starts off with a swinging strikeout here. Big swing on the outside edge by Rem for the strikeout. One out here at the top of the first inning. Schmidt's already doing a great job at what she does best, making people reach for those pitches. And another strike here. Really work on the outside edge there. Vidal up to the plate. Approached that one, but took it high. Good swing over the shortstop, feels it clean, good throw. Just late though, safe at first base. Good infield single for Vidal. Up next, number 21, Maya Wells. In comes Maya Wells, playing first base today. Senior. And that's going to be a called ball, but it looks like we uh, wanted to swing on that one there. It was close to the zone. Just a bit high, maybe outside too. So we're looking to advance the runner here. And a foul ball gives Caitlin Schmitz the count of one and one. We're looking to turn two here to get out of the inning. Schwartz to first, we'll get the out there. And an overthrow to third. And that is going to be safe at home. Vidal came around and scored close play at the plate though. Now batting number 26, Abigail Gatza. First baseman Lauren Gulick had the right idea there throwing that to third, but missed just high and unfortunately that cost them a run there. Yeah, they had a cough between second and third, dead to rights, and the throw just wasn't there. Another outside corner strike for Schmitz. Oh, foul ball down the first base line. Oh, and two count with two outs. Looking to get out of the inning. Another foul ball on the first base side, late on the swing. And Schmitz is still riding that outside corner, this time low, making those batters reach for it, putting it in foul territory. Ball in the dirt, one and two count to Gata. It's the right idea there. You just caught her swinging on a low outside pitch. Might as well go low again, see if you can get her to reach. And if you reach for one. No solid contact. Hard hit ball to right field. Fielded perfectly for the third out. Genesee lets up one run here in the top of the first.
turn them on. I turn them off after the. I never touch those. Rebecca Schwartz. You, were, you had it like that? This one on? Mm -hmm. If it was like that, then it was working. Down arrow a couple times. Oh, don't hit on on both of them. Yeah. Hit the down arrow a couple times, just twice. Yep. Yeah. Sorry folks, we are back after some technical difficulties. Hopefully everyone's hearing us all right now. That was Rebecca Schwartz. No. Now Tori Guari starting off with a single. Keep in mind that any difficulties you have, we're going to blame Brooke for. Up here and they booked me for the first time for softball. I did it all last season and now I have a new partner, but I could not be more excited. Big hit for Caitlin Schmidt up the third base side here. And that's going to be a double to left. We got two runners in scoring position here. Up next, number three, Brooke Cross. Brooke Frost up to bat, looking to bring one or two home. Tie or take the lead. Foul ball straight back over the catcher's glove. Had me nervous for a second. It's a good piece of that ball. She wanted that one too. You saw it. Yeah, looking to drive it out into left. Early enough on it, just a little under it. I think it's a beautiful day for softball today. It is. Not too cold, not too warm. A little bit of a breeze up here. Another foul ball. Still kind of back towards us. Invoke a little bit of fear. Oh, two count to book for us. Runners on second and third, one out. Another foul ball down the third base side with some power, though. Not looking for an infield single here. She's looking to put one in the outfield. Takes a ball low. One and two. One out. Second and third. Ready to move. And Frost is going to take that to right field. That's going to be a single. And Gwari is going to get underneath the throw home and get called safe. Wow, the throw beater there, too. If you get under the tag, though, just like you said, great throw from right field. And Brooke Frost advanced to second on that. Runners on two and three here. Ray Schumacher, freshman, looking to knock these two home in this home opener for Geneseo. Yeah, he really was a perfect hit, too. He was just shallow enough. We couldn't make a solid play on it for sure. Ground ball over to third, check the runner, throw over to first for the out. We have catcher Tara Brochu up oh, at the plate. Tara Brochu. The great walk-up song too. It's one of my favorite parts of softball is the walk-up songs. The, the songs, the cheers, everything. It's it's a great environment. It's better than baseball. It's electric. That's an overused term in our sport. Swings on the outside edge. Quick pitch, foul off on the third base line and high. 0 oh, 2 count, two outs, two runners in scoring position. We have a tie game at one in the first inning. 
Strike three in the dirt. Play a first out, and that will conclude the first inning. Game is tied at one apiece. We'll be back for the second. We're back here in the second inning. Geneseo back on defense. Game tied at one apiece in the top of the second. Up first for Alfred, left fielder. Whoa, foul ball down the first base line. Megan Nito up to the plate. Junior infielder. Gulick and Frost made a run for that one. Couldn't get there though. Alyssa is in the field and utility out in left field today. I'm going to test her arm a couple times. Nice change up by Schmitz. That was gross. Just off speed enough. Can't pull the trigger. Down 0-2. I wouldn't want to swing at that either. Play. Neither would I. You don't have time to. You don't have time to react. High and outside. First ball. One and two. My alarm was the scoreboard wrong. I thought it was one and two. I don't know. We'll see what happens here. Oh, hard hit ball to center field. Ranging back. Overhead. Bounces off the wall. Gets it in quick, though. Great hit from Megan Neal. Way up the middle. It's getting windier here today. Makes you wonder if it's going to affect anything on the field. I certainly hope not. Balls are hard to track. Pitches are hard to throw with the wind going like this. I don't have much experience with softball. I played baseball for a little bit. Different games, however, though. You played softball for a while, yeah? I did. You were a catcher, yes? I did. I actually caught for Caitlin Schmitz, who's pitching right now. Wow. Look at that. If things go south, we can get you out there. And that ball's going to be in the dirt. We have a 1-1 count, and the runner on second advances to third. Stressful spot here for Geneseo. A strikeout here would be huge. They fought so hard to tie the game. Hate to see it thrown away right after. And paint the outside corner again. Schmidt just gave herself a 1-2 count. Great pitch. So right in the outside corner there. Hard to pull the trigger on that one too. Hard hit ball, caught over at first base. Runner retreats back to third. Off to bat number seven, Isabella Orozco. Up next is catcher Isabella Orozco. Looking to bring the runner home from third. Take strike one on the outside corner. Hard chopper over to second base. Runner heads home and gets under the tag. Scoring, giving Alfred a 2-1 lead. 
That was a smart move there by the runner that was on third. She came around the tag to avoid the ball there. Yeah, it gave a little bit of hesitation over at third base to making second base make a choice, throw it to first and get the outer. You know, start a, a pickle situation between third and home. Inside, strike one call. Well, too far outside. Brooke, we got some, some dogs at the ballpark today. We do. What's your favorite dog breed? My dog's a boxer. I love boxer. I love my boxer. Boxers are nice. Ground up to the pitcher who throws it over to first for the third out. Alfred scores one, giving them a 2-1 lead, and we'll be back at the bottom of the second. And Audrey Mitten starting off the bottom of the second for the Knights with probably one of my favorite walk-up songs. Yeah, she's out in left field today. Came up to some Stevie Wonder. Hard hit ball to left center, ranging back. It's yeah. gone! Audrey Mitten with the first home run of this season on this field. A far shot to left center. Left field range back for it, but there was no shot at that one. Far over the wall, tying the game at two. That was a no doubt. That was gone the second it left a bat. Oh yeah. Now batting number 24, Bella Nadson. And that's going to be a ball just outside, just a little low. Yeah, Bella Nadson up to the plate playing shortstop today. Just and I never got to play. And that's going to be just low on the inside. Nadson didn't want that one. I don't blame her. 2 0 count's a good spot to be. It's, it's a hitter's count. And a foul ball right back at us. Nathan is holding his chest because he thought the ball was going to come through the fence. Came in a little hot. There, I forget there's a fence there sometimes. There is a fence there. Last season tried to catch a foul ball, no luck. This could be the year. And Nadzen takes that one up the middle. Shortstop coming across and gets the out at first. Fielded well over at short and a great throw over at first. That's, that's a routine play over there. Next number 16, Anna Olenicek. Hannah Olenicek up to the plate. Playing out right field today. She's going to foul that first one off. And Coach over at third is waving his hand, started to take it easy. She wanted that one. She wanted to take that one way out. Understandable. We've seen one this inning, and, uh, you know, everyone's excited to get up to the plate after that. And that's going to be a ball just on the outside. You know, I agree. Hitting is absolutely something that is contagious. Oh, for sure. And once you see one person do it, everyone is just racing over to the bats. Want to get up to the plate. And that's going to be just outside. Owen Nechek's going to leave that one. And we have a one-on-one -on -one count. Yeah, work on the outside edge. Maybe scared to put that thing over the plate. I'm sorry, that was a 2-1 count, now it is a 3-1 count. 
I still work on that outside edge though. Don't want to leave anything there for her to hit. And Olin Nechak's gonna take the walk. Five pitch walk, that's a good at that. Get a run around base. And Gwery is coming up to bat, looking to knock Olenicek around. Now you have someone super fast on first, and Gwery is also pretty fast, so we're looking at something quick here. Yeah, got on base in the first inning. They've now hit around. And she would love to get on base again. Four, Tori Gwery. She looks ready to hit one, too. I've got a smile on her face. I was always scared to go up to bat. Ooh. She's going to take that first strike. On the outside edge. Any further outside, that's probably a ball. And Gray's going to take that one up the middle. And that's going to be a single, moving Olenicek to second. We have a lot of in scoring position now. Runners on first and second base. Now value number 18, Rebecca Schwartz. That brings Rebecca Schwartz up to the plate. Over at third base today. Whoa. Hard foul ball up the right base side. Bouncing around to the trees. A wonderful ball girl is going to get it right now. Oh, that's great. And that's going to be a hard hit to short. Over to three, looking to turn two, and the throw does not get there. That leaves runners on one and two with one, two outs. Smart play to kick it over to third there. Get rid of the lead runner. Obviously, turning two is ideal, but with the runners that fast, it's not easy to do. To that number 15, Caitlin Schmitz. Caitlin Schmitz up to the plate. Runner down first and second. Schmitz is going to take that ball on the outside. And she's going to take that strike for a count of one and one. And that's a ball in the dirt. Gwari not o able to get over to third on that. She thought about it though, that's for sure. A couple steps off a second. And that's another ball in the dirt there for a count of three and one for pitcher Caitlin Schmetz. Again, I feel like she was going for third base, maybe just to get in the head of the pitcher or the catcher. Catcher's a great job keeping the ball right in front though. And Schmitz takes that one to right field for a fly out. We'll be back. We're back here in the third inning. 
game tied at two. And that is going to be a first pitch strike swinging there. Schmitz did a good job forcing the batter to swing at that pitch right where she wanted it. And that's going to be a foul ball on the inside. That one hurt. Not much you can do with that. If you want to hit, you got to be early, but it's terrific. That's going to go foul. It's a great spot for a pitch, and I would not be surprised to see it again. That's going to be a ball on the outside corner. Good spot, good idea. Good framing, too. Really tried to bring that one back in. Umpire is too smart for that. And that's a hit to third, Schwartz to first, and that is going to be an out. Great play over at third base there. Ball came with a weird bounce, not a problem though. And a ball on the outside. Just run back up again. She's batting leadoff today. Bad in the cover to one spot. Definitely a header for average. And over to shortstop, and that's going to be an out just barely. Yeah, bang bang play over at first base. Field the great over at short and a perfect throw. But man, Jessica Rem is fast. Now batting number five, Samantha Vidal. Another slapper here. That's straight back. <laughs> have to say the clouds behind us are a bit ominous. Hope we don't have a problem here. We double headed today. Another nasty change up, change up from Schmitz there. <laughs> if the weather had any consideration, it would hold off until after the game. So I check my sources. Cloudy skies, but no rain today. Ball on the outside there. We have a 2-2 two -two count. And a foul ball over to third base there. Yeah, a bit late on that swing. Hard to get around on it if you're late. Two and two count, two outs, game tied at two. And showing the bunt there, pulled back for the slap and a swing and a miss. And that's going to be another strike out there for Schmitz to end the, bot, the top of the third. We're back in the bottom of the third inning. Genesee up to bat. Brooke Frost at the plate. Ready to start things off on a good note. And that she does with a hit. Over to second baseman there, but she tosses it to first and gets the out. Got Ray Schumacher up to bat. Now batting number 26, Ray Schumacher. Ray Schumacher out of Greece, New York. Not far from my hometown. I, actually, I used to live in Greece. Just for a minute. 
and Schumacher is going to take that first strike. Now, in my experience, Greece produces the best players, myself being one of them, of course. And Schumacher is going to take a second strike there. And, uh... And that ball is going to be in the dirt. Smart, smart pitch there. Not giving her anything to uh, hit there with two strikes on her. And that's going to be a looking strike number three. Yeah, definitely a, a pitcher's pitch there on the outside edge. Now batting number 37, Tara Brochu. And that is going to give us two outs in the bottom of the third here. Brochu looking to make something happen before the inning's over. High and outside for the first ball. And a foul ball gives Brochu a count of one and one. One and one, two outs. Game tied at two. Bottom of the third. <laughs> and that foul ball is going to be out of here. Sorry, I got nervous. It almost hit my vehicle. Came in hot over there. Felt some tension up in the booth as it approached a little bit closer to Brooks' truck. <laughs> A high ball there, check swing, and no good. So that is going to be a 2 2 count. Looked over at the first base umpire who actually have a worse view of the bat, but a ball nonetheless. Full count here for Brochu looking to make something happen with two outs. Foul tip into the glove to complete the strikeout. Genesis goes down in three. Game tied at two. We'll be back in the top of the fourth. Leading off number 21, Maya Wells. We're back at the top of fourth, and if you heard Dylan, Maya Wells up to the plate. Batting three today. Foul ball into the on-deck circle. Watch your ankles. Brooke, you having fun up here today? I'm having so much fun. I love softball season. And we're only a quarter of the way through the day. And a nasty changeup from Schmitz. Yuck. Right down the middle. Watched it first strike. No one wants to swing at that. And a ball on the outside there. Yeah, definitely a change of speed on that pitch. That one came in fast. And that is going to be a fly into the outfield, right in between center and left. 
And that is going to be a double for Wells. Yeah, great hit it right into the gap. And some wheels on the base path there to roll into second base. Up to bat number 26, Abigail Gatza. And they got up to the plate. Runner on second, no outs. Game still tied at two. And that's going to be a hit over the second baseman for the out at first, advances the runner to third. Yeah, great spot there. Runner took off for third immediately. I was quite surprised to see it. But that's still a pretty far throw from the second base spot over the third. Yes, yeah, my move there by the runner. Big lead off and just take off when it's hit. Yeah, it's my move by second base to get the out instead of uh, trying to get yourself in a situation there. Megan Nito up to the plate. Ball just low. You ever miss playing softball, book? Sometimes. Yeah. And over to third for a tag out at home, and they get it. And a runner at first is safe. Smart play by Schwartz over at third base. And the runner took off. Well, really should have held their spot Thomas. there, but also you're going to get tagged out if you stay there. So they had to make a choice, but smart play by Schwartz to throw it home. Ty Thomas up to the plate. And a swinging strike. And a foul ball back at us, and Nathan is jumping out of his skin back here. That, that one was actually on line to hit me, so I had to wait to be scared of that one. There is a fence in front of me, though. You're right. I kind of thought I was going to break the chain link, but I guess I was wrong. Oh, two count. Two outs. And a foul ball off of a changeup almost hit the on-deck batter. That was scary. It didn't even budge. That was, that was impressive. And Schmitz is looking to uh, get this last strike here for her team. And a ball just outside. Orozco oh, over on the on deck over with the leg guards on. Just in case we get a third out here, but ready to go either way. I always hate that about catching. And that's going to be a ground ball back to Schmitz. And Schmitz to first for the out. And that was a good job by Genesio there, getting out of a tough situation where you had a couple runners on base that could have scored and holding them to nothing. But no one came around. We're back in the bottom of the fourth. We're back here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Audrey Mint up to the plate. And she's going to take that first strike. Audrey Mint, graduate student, Canisius, New York. A right handed batter. And that's going to be a line back to third base there. Ooh, that's why they call it the hot quarter. <laughs> Now batting number 24, Bella Nadzin. 
And Nadzen takes a hard foul ball up the right field side. Have a dog go in the chase. It. Unable to beat the ball girl though. And Nadzen's going to take that second strike, and it's an 0 2 count. And that is going to be another foul ball up the right field side. And ground ball to short, short to first, beats the runner for an out. Easy call over at first base there, but it was a good hit on a 1-2 count. Just went right to the field there, unfortunately. Now by number 16, Hannah Olenichek. Holding check up to the plate. Another right-handed batter. Brooke, are you a right-handed batter or you, you bat lefty? Just a little of both. Really? Switch hitter. Good. And that's going to be a foul ball to third base. Switch hitting catcher. I'm not just saying, I'd take a special person to do that. I could barely hit from one side of the plate. And Owen Echek's going to take that second strike there. Looking to make something happen with two outs. At the bottom of the fourth. And a foul ball. Stay at right at 0-2 with two outs. Game tied at two apiece. Bottom of the fourth inning. Good um, job. clouds move in. Good job by Olin Jack staying alive there, and still staying alive. Another foul ball straight back. I want all of our viewers to know that even when it's a foul ball back towards us in the dirt, it Aiden still the, jumps. It, it can be in the dirt. I'm, I'm looking off myself and Brooke up here. If it gets real, I got this. One and two count for Olin Jack. Another foul ball. It's a great at bat. I was just going to say. E even a strikeout, it's not a bad thing. You work the pitch count a ways. And a ball in the dirt there. 2-2 two -two count for Owen Echek. Way too low to warrant a swing. And a diving play by the right fielder, not able to catch it. Olin Ejack's going to stay at second. That's, that's one of the best at-bats you can have. Absolutely. Had to be close to 10 pitches and a nice double out to right field, opposite field. Warranted dive, but able to get there. Now batting number four, Tori Guerri. Tori Guerri up to the plate, actually from my hometown, Spencer Park, we went to school together. That first pitch is going to be a ball on the outside. We have some very different routes around the field than me up in a booth behind it. Going to take that inside strike. Backed away from the play a bit. Maybe looking to get a call. One and one, two outs. And a swing way up in the air. Over to right field, and that's going to be a catch for the third out of the inning. Geneseo is not able to score. Tied it to a piece. We'll be back in the top of the fifth.
Way back here at the top of the fifth inning. Alfred up to the plate. Uh, first pitch is going to be a ball. Orozco, another little right handed batter. Lucky seven, the caller. And a hit up into left field. Nadzen from short is going to come in and get that. That's a shallow fly ball out there. Our next number 15. Yeah, way to range back there and get it. Makes life easier for the left fielder. But it's easier to run in on a ball than run back for one. So, but able to get that nonetheless. And that's going to be a ball just outside. Bab is up to the plate. And that's going to be a strike on the outside corner. Just barely in from the last pitch we saw. 1-1 one, one count here. And a hit, ground ball over to short, or second, and that's going to be a toss over to first for another out. Yeah, that's definitely second base over there, the right side of the bag. Object number two thank you, I was focused on the last play, but thank you, Nathan, for your help. I'm just here to have a good time, all right? <laughs> Watson up to the plate. <laughs> Foul ball up the left side. I'm trying to take out the ankle of the third base coach. It might be personal. Maybe you gave a bunt sign or something. I'm convinced that the coaches that stand out on the first They're base and third base lines are made of steel. They get hit with softballs all the time. It doesn't phase them. Yeah, they come in fast. And that's going to be a ball there. I think I would struggle with that job. My reflexes are fast, as we've seen tonight. But uh, on the field, I think I would just catch it. Oh, and a ball that just misses there. We have a 3-1 count. And Nathan, you can't say your reflexes are fast. You just jump at everything. At least I'm reacting. And a hit up the left field side for a single for Alfred. Good hit right between third and short and up over their heads. Up next, number three, Jessica Rem. Jessica Rem up to the plate. We have seen her wheels today, beating out a play over at first and advancing to second. And looking to do something here. Frost over to first base for an out, and the Knights are going to have another shot here to uh, take the lead. And we'll see you in the bottom of the fifth. We're back in the bottom of the fifth. Start with a high fly ball to left field. Catacorn. Yeah, nice catch there by the left fielder. And Schwartz is going to be our first out of the game. Look, you know where that saying comes from, Catacorn? I do not, Nathan. Enlighten me. Oh, old school food markets. When they would need a can, they would knock it from the top shelf and catch it in their apron. Did not know that. Schwartz is going to take the first strike there. Count on Nathan for any sort of trivia that you do involving useless knowledge. Explains my GPA. And a ball on the outside for Schmitz. The Alfred Bench not too happy with that, looking for that to be a called strike. Got a 1-1 count with a one out. Hard.
hard hit. Foul ball straight to the fence. Straighten that out and that could be gone. Beautiful piece of that ball there. Brooke, I have to ask, what brought you to Geneseo? What brought me to Geneseo? Yeah. You know, that's a tough question to be put on the spot with. But, you know, the people, the community, the little small town feeling, I loved it. Isn't it nice? Schmitz with another hard foul ball out to left field. Yeah, over to the same spot there. Early on these pitches. Yeah, strained out a little bit. But not overcorrect. Then I'll go over to the first base side. And a little shock there from us up here because that almost hit Marty, the first base coach. <laughs> but uh, Schmidt staying alive here with a 1 2 count. Yeah, that one came in fast. Able to duck it though. And a ball high. Schmidt's not afraid to take a pitch with two strikes. Two and two count. It's my favorite count to call as an umpire. And Schmitz reaches on the outside for one. Hit over to the second baseman who tosses it to first and gets the out. Yeah, hard hit grounder over to second base. Would love to see the exit velo on that. That's exit velocity, bro. Thank you. Now batting number three, Brooke Frost. Frost looking to do something here with two outs at the bottom of the fifth. And first pitch is going to be taken for a strike. And a ball low and outside. We've seen both teams really work that outside edge today. They'll be trying to get the umpire to see it as a strike. It's a smart spot to go. Catch people reaching a little bit. Yeah. And Frost over to second as well. And they get the out again. We'll be back in the top of the sixth. We're back in the top of the sixth. Tied at two. And we're swinging at that first pitch, and that's going to be foul up the left side. I'm a big fan of the first pitch swinging technique. They put me in the booth with amateurs today. If you didn't hear my uh, last call there, it's because my mic was uh, up. It's a learning curve, book. That's a bunt and the foul on the third base side. We're having fun, doesn't matter. Schwartz over at third, playing in. Ready to cover anything short. So does the bump we're seeing shown. And a slap gets between first and second there. And that is a hit. Both of them move towards the ball, neither able to get it. Now batting number 21. Look for us over at second, laid out for it. No luck. It's a great hit. Good spot. It is a really good spot. It was hit hard enough, too, where we don't get in on it. Now have to run around first and no outs. Hard hit ball. Not fielded by first or second. Runner advances. Runners on first and second. No outs. 
I think it was a weird spin on that ball. Frost came over to come catch it, and the spin took it back in a different direction, and neither the now first baseman nor the second, second baseman could yeah. get to it. Yeah, you like got a glove on it at first, and it maybe threw Frost off of where it was going. Either way, we're on first inside here. Tough spot for Geneseo. And an attempted bunt. Broshu throwing a fake throw in there, looking to uh, little pump fake. catch someone moving. We got a 1-1 one -one count here. Both runners seem ready to go. With the bat ready to lay down a bunt. Not able to get that bunt down. There's a 1-2 and two count now. Got at the plate. I shown bunt twice, one and two count. And a foul ball up the first base side. Give a full swing right into the Alfred dugout. Gats are looking for, to make something happen here with two strikes and two runners on. And a smart pitch there from Schmitz with another change up looking to Catcher reach in, catcher off balance there, but no bite, and it's a 2 2 count. Yeah, good effort from Gotts. That was a good spot. And a ball just high. We have a full count, two runners on, no outs. Unable to find the zone. Full count with no outs. Runners on first and second. You need an out here. And a foul tip back into Broshu's glove. That one stung a little bit. Important to know she did not catch it. That bat will continue. Another change up from Schmitz, who catches a little pop up. Smart call there. That is the awareness you need as a pitcher. That ball got right we're back at you. Thankfully, Magneto. it had some loft to be able to get under it and make the play. And Geneseo coach Dave Sylvester coming out to the mound. Looks like a pitching change. Number two, Sydney Bolton's going to come in for the Knights. Sydney Bolton, senior out of Webster, New York. Again, not far from my hometown. Just on the other side of Rochester. However, even further away from Brooke. She'll take some more pages and we'll be back with you in a couple minutes.
So it looks here, we're waiting for the official lineup change, but it looks like Schmitz went to left field. Sydney Bolton's coming into pitch, and Haley Coombs is going to be behind the plate catching. Changing things up a little bit after a stressful situation there. We had a run around first and second with no outs. Now we have an out. Now pitching for Genesee on number two, Sydney Bolton. Our lovely announcer, Dylan, announcing that we got Sydney Bolton on the bump. Coming up to the plate, number 23, Megan Nito. Yeah, Left fielder, Megan Nito, up to the plate. Runners on first and second. And she is going to show a bunt there and pull back for a strike. First pitch, first strike. No better way to start it. Sounds maybe like a double play, but that's still pretty good. And we are going to take a hit by pitch there. Yeah, it came in a little inside, off the leg. Now batting number eight, Ty Thomas. Ty Thomas up to late, bases loaded, one out, infield should be in here, ready to make a play at home on a ground ball. Big moment for Thomas here, one out, bases loaded. High and outside for a ball. One out, count, one out. And a change up from Bolton for a strike. And outside for a count of one and two. Just gonna need to find the zone again. Don't wanna walk a run in. And just missed for another ball. 3-1 count, one out, bases loaded. Crucial spot for Bolton here. And Thomas as well. Yes. Shows a butt and pulls back, but that is a strike. And a full count here. With the pressure on, both Bolton and Thomas looking to do big things for their teams here. And Thomas is going to swing and have a line out to the second baseman who throws it to third for a second out. Double play, and that'll end the inning. Great job by Geneseo getting out of that spot. And we'll be back in the bottom of the sixth. back here in the bottom of the sixth. A little late, I do apologize. Oh, one count. Yep. 
ball on the outside for a one-on-one -on -one count for Schumacher here. And Schumacher takes that one just over the infield, over to left field. And that is going to be a single. It's a great piece of hitting. And catcher Haley Coombs is going to come up to the plate for the first time today. And coach is going to come put that sub in. And we have a runner for Schumacher at first, Olivia Fazio. Now batting number 19, Haley Coombs. Haley Coombs up to the plate, her first at bat of the day. Pinch runner over on first, ready to move. And Coombs with a bunt, but pops it up. Right back to the catcher. That's going to be an out for the Knights. And that's going to bring Audrey Minton up to the plate. Number five, Audrey. And that's going to give Nathan an opportunity to dance up here in the booth a little bit. <laughs> and Minton is going to take a high fly ball to between left and center, between right and center, I'm sorry, and the center fielder is going to be able to come over and snag that for Geneseo's second out. And, and that comes after a, a previous hit from her that went over the fence. That was close to Liv Fazio is going to stay at first. That ball was just shy of being her second of the day. Madzan's also going to pop up, and the first baseman's going to come over to grab that, and that's going to be three outs for Geneseo. 2-2 two, two going into the top of the seventh. We'll be right back. We're back here in top of the seventh inning. Elf fit up to the plate. First pitch outside. Does not warrant a swing. Isabella Rosco up to the plate. 1 0 count. Off speed pitch. Just missed it for two balls. 2 0 count. Both pitches outside. Don't want to do anything over the plate. Another ball on the outside. 3 0 count here. And Bolton throws a strike on the inside. The Alfred Dugout are trying to get into the pitcher's head. Some chance. To no avail, though. 3 1 count. And another strike on the outside for Bolton. Called strike on the outside edge. We've seen a lot from the outside edge just at bat. And. 
That pitch just misses on the inside. And that's going to be a walk. And we are going to have a position switch, I believe. Bolton is going to move to first. Minton is going to move to left. And Schmidt is going to come back to pitch. And Schmidt is going to get a few wild uh, pitches, and we will be right back. Guzman. Paris Guzman up to the plate from Santa Fe Springs, California. Far from home. Makes one of this cold weather is going to mess up our play. I believe that sub was Guzman, so this should be her first at bat today, and she's going to bunt a foul ball there. First year, throws ready, bats ready. Much like myself. I'm like Brooke, our switch hitting catcher. And a, another bunted foul ball that hit her foot in the box, so that's going to be foul. And an 0 2 count for Schmidt, who came back in. We got one runner on first and no outs. There's that changeup again. Foul ball up the third base side. Runner on first base. Game tied at two apiece here in the top of the seventh. And another changeup, or just an off-speed pitch, for a strikeout for Schmitz coming out of left field there. Yeah, up the letters. Definitely the top of the zone. That's where I like to be. If it was at my head, I would still swing at it. I didn't really care. And a ground ball to third. Throws a little low in the dirt there. Bolton able to scoop it up for an out at first. Two outs, runner on second. Up next, number three, Jessica Rem. Rem looking to make something happen here. She's been at base a couple times today. And a strike on the outside corner. It's a hard pitch to execute. Pain the lines like that. 
And a ground ball to short, over to first for that third out. Schmitz does a great job pulling Geneseo out of that. We will be back in the bottom of the seventh for Geneseo's last shot to uh, make something happen here. We're back in the bottom of the seventh. Game tied at two. Oh, and Nietzschek takes that first strike. Took the words right out of her mouth. Geneseo will look to walk the game off here. And a line drive past the second baseman. That's going to be a hit for Olenicek. She's going to stay at first. It's a great way to start off the bottom of the last inning. Get a runner on base. Up next, number four, Tori Guary. Guary looking to make something happen. Coach Council over with Geneseo saying, don't do anything fancy here, and I think that's just the key. Don't swing for the fences. Don't do anything too crazy. Let's just get a run here. Yeah, even just get on base. Next first up, advance the runner. Guary falls off a bunt. Over one count, no outs. Run around first. Gary's going to bump that one back into her own box for a foul ball. If that didn't spin the way it did, it would have been a perfect bunt right in front of the plate. Oh, and two count. Gary swings and it goes foul. A foul ball up the first base line. And Guary with a fly ball out to left for a an out there. It was a hard hit ball for an opposite field shot. Left field able to get under it though. Wouldn't call it a can of corn, but you know, still able to make the play. Now batting number 18, Rebecca Schwartz. Rebecca Schwartz up to the plate. Look at at least advance a runner. Takes the first pitch for a ball. Starting to get a little breezy, a little cold over here. Well, bet. I'm right, I'll tough it out. And Schwartz singles to left field. Shortstop making a diving play, not able to get a glove on it. Schmidt's looking to do something here with two runners on, one on first, one on second, and one out. To that number 15, Caitlin Schmidt. Big spot for Schmidt here. First and second, bottom of the seventh. Could walk it off. There is an out on the board, though. Outside pitch for ball number one. Low and outside. Always scared of the pass ball. And a strike on the outside corner. It's important here to not be too aggressive. You don't want to don't want to swing at bad pitches and force another out. You just can't call it here though. You're right. It's a low bet. And Schmitz is going to take a 
a little line drive to right field there. No one's going to advance. And Brooke Frost with two outs and two on. May have been a miss sign by the runner on second there. Brooke Frost up to the plate. Can put it away here. Right back to the pitcher. He throws it over to first for the third out. Be back, top of the eighth. We're back at the top of the eighth inning. Alfred has first at bats. Now batting number five, Samantha Vidal. Samantha Vidal, first one up. Runner starts on second base. Vidal bunts. And it hits her foot in the box, so that's going to be called a foul ball. It was a great spot otherwise. Yes, definitely, not, definitely not going to have a play over at first or third. For those who uh, do not know, there is a runner on second to start these tiebreakers here. And a but kind of. She kind of stuck her bat out of it a little bit. But uh, foul on the first base side either way. Two strikes. Oh, and two count. And a little low for ball number one. One ball, two strikes, runner on second. And a hit up the middle. Center fielder ends up fielding that, and the runner from second scores. And that was a solid single and a big moment there. Now batting number 21, Maya Wells. It really was. Alfred takes a 3-2 lead. We've seen Jenna see play catch up all day today. And first pitch ball there. The runner on first base, looking ready to move. And ball number two. And careful there. Ball got away from Schmitz a little bit. The pressure will be on Janice for that pass, and they have to score at least one run. Guy got out of this thing first, though. And a hard foul ball up the third base side. Had some distance on it. But way too late on the swing. 2 1 count. 
Another foul ball. I kept my composure on that one. I was going to say, I'm proud of Nathan for not jumping. That one did come back and hit the fence. I'm not worried about it. And if you take one, if you, if you get hit by one, oh well, Phil. Keep making fun of me, bro. And a hard hit between third and short. Shortstop diving for it. Cannot get to it. Advances the runner to third. And we got runners on the corners with no outs. It has gone from a great day for softball to kind of a cold day for softball. I'm getting a little chilly. But I reckon I... Uh, I should have checked the weather before I left the house, so it's on me. That's going to be a high ball. And the runner from first is going to advance to second. Still no outs here. Oh, there's a 3 2 lead. Runners on second and third. An inside strike for Schmitz there. Very inside strike. There's that change up again, but a batter here timed it out right, and two runs are going to score for that single. We have a 5 2 ball game. Alfred's taking a, uh, a comfortable lead. Still no outs. Now batting number Runner 23, first. Megan Nito. And the Alfred coach is going to make a substitution here. It's like a pinch runner. But I'll believe it when I see it, and now I've seen it. Can't get a fit on who's over at first base now. Who's on first? All right, don't do it with me, it's fine. Still not sure who. High ball there. Looks like Darby McHenry over at first. And that's going to be a foul ball. It looked like it was going into the Alfred dugout, but the wind might have brought that back in. Yeah, I lost track of it over our overhang here. I kind of thought it was coming towards us. I would have to catch it, but uh, no, it landed on the field in play. And a solid hit to right field for a catch. It's going to give Geneseo their first out of the inning. And our runner's going to stay on first. It's always a hard time to get that first out. Hopefully for them, things fall in place and the next two go as well. They're still going to be down by three. Line drive back to first. Bolton, thinking about diving. Did not make the double play. And we have two outs here. Big moment for Schmitz. Ooh, back at Schmitz. Off her arm there. And that's going to be a single up the middle. Got to be on your toes when you're pitching. It's hard to come back from. That was a hard hit right oh, yeah. back at her. For sure. And that one's back to Schmitz as well. Ground ball to first, and that is going to be the third out of the inning. Geneseo looking to make some big plays here to come back in this ballgame. We'll be back.
We're back here in the bottom of the eighth. Geneseo trails by three. Schumacher first to the plate, takes it outside pitch, 1-0. And that looks like Brooke Frost on second for our tiebreaker roll here. And Schumacher hits one foul. And our awesome ball girl is going to go get that for us. Hustling over there. And Schumacher with a fly ball. Tough spot out to right, but she's able to get that. And there's going to be an out, and no one is going to advance. Fly balls are hard now. It is a breezy day out there. Might be able to hear the wind. Now batting number 37, Tara Brochu. And Brochu re-enters the game, looking to do something here. Really wanting to do something here. That was a big swing. And a foul ball over by my truck again. That was a close one. That was a close one. We're good. It's safe. Getting close to those headlights. My uh, supervisor told me that my truck was parked a little close. Yeah, he wasn't kidding it. Uh, came in hot. Mitt, or er, Brochu. Fly ball to center. Frost takes off and is under the tag. Overshoots the base a little bit and is able to kind of crawl back to it to be safe. A perfect throw from center field, though. In the air, and it, it drops right where the tag would be. Genesee with a run around third, down by three with two outs. Minton up to bat here. Had a great game so far. Up the middle is going to take Frost in, and that's a single for Minton. Keeps the dream alive. Down by two. Two outs. A run around first. Nadzen looking for a big play here. Now by number 24, Bella Nadzen. And first pitch is going to be a strike. All in one count. Two outs. Outside corner. Nice little spot there for a strike. Nazan looking to stay alive here with this next pitch. Takes a foul. Almost hitting one of the coaches over there. And that's going to be low and outside. Keeping the at-bat alive. One ball, two strikes, two outs, one runner on first. Big play here. And up the middle, fielded by the shortstop, over to first for the out. And Alfred is going to take the first game. We will see you back for game number two.
We're here with game two of our double header between Geneseo and Alpha University. A bit late getting on the call, I do apologize. We already have an out. Now batting number five, Samantha Vidal. Jessica Rem of Alpha just grounds it out to the pitcher. Tossed out over at first base. Alpha took the first game five to three. Geneseo looking to bounce back this game. And a ball for the first pitch here. Samantha Vidal at the plate, showing bun. And that's going to be a fair ball. Weak swing grabbed by the catcher and thrown over to first for the second out. Up to bat that, 21, Maya Wells. That was Coombs to Mitten. And we have Sidney Bolton pitching for the Knights. And first pitch ball. Says the umpire. And another ball. Geneseo not too happy about that. A little hooting and hollering. Nothing wrong with little hooting and hollering. Absolutely not. And a hard foul ball. Sent way back. Almost hit our athletic trainer, Angelo. Two and one. Another hard foul ball. Looking to hit Angelo again. That would be the count to two and two with two outs. And a ball in the dirt there, making the count full. That one came in pretty quick, though. Ball Ball full count, Face two outs. And a hard hit over to the second baseman, who is not able to make the play. That is going to be a single. Now batting number 26, Abigail Gatza. Is a, oh, <clears throat> excuse me, well, gets up to bat. Ball just outside there. Gonna be looking for her pitch, the right around first base. Another ball just missing here. And another foul ball. Sent way back behind us. And for anyone that was here for the first game, you'll be happy to know that I did move my truck. So no more threat of it getting hit. Moved your truck and got a blanket. I did. Can't handle the elements. Everyone's got a blanket on except for me. Huh. <laughs> it's a sad sight over there next to me. And a ball. Moving to second. Coons throws down to second. Not able to catch the runner there. We have a 2-1 count with two outs and a runner on second. And a hit up the middle of the field. It's going to bring that runner in for Alfred's first run of this game. And with that, they'll take a 1-0 lead with Up to bat number two outs, Megan two out rally. Leo. And Gatza stays at first there. And another ball just missing here. 
maybe a little high, I'm not sure. It looks like it was maybe right at the belt. And that is going to be a hit to left field. A hard hit ball. Left side of the infield on the ground and made it way out to the grass. Yep, split the third baseman and shortstop. It's able to get a single, and we have a runner on first and second with two outs. Isabella Roscoff to bat, looking to keep the two out rally going. And a high ball for Rosso. I remember the first two batters, they didn't got out. And we have two on, and one's already come across the plate. And a ball in the dirt there. Coombs does a good job blocking it. Two and no count. Good little frame on the outside by Coombs. Gives us a count of two and one. Strong call for the Empire too, right through the sternum. And another ball, also close. I'm not sure where that one missed. Couple chuckles here from the Geneseo fan section. Not loving the uh, ball call. And that's going to be a ball four to load up the bases. Walk the bases loaded, two outs. Now batting number six, Destiny Avila. Destiny Avila up to bat. Never got in a bat in the first game, but we'll uh, look to get a hit here. And a ball for her first pitch. And a hard hit up the middle. Right back to the pitcher. That's going to, or back at the pitcher, I'm sorry. Through the infield to the outfield. That's going to bring in two runs. And we have a runner on first and second now. Now batting number four, Brielle Wark. And we are going to have a pitching change. That's going to be number 22, freshman pitcher, Gabriella Petrowski. And the Alfred Dugout is singing happy birthday to their batter, I believe. Seemingly a happy birthday to Brielle Wark going up to the plate. That's awesome. Also didn't get in a bat in the first game. All right, well, Petrowski takes some more pitches. We will be right back. We are back, and Petrowski's first batter is going to be an out. That was Gabriella Smith coming from second base across into foul territory. Caught a hard ball there. And we will be back in the bottom of the first.
And we're back in the bottom of the first. Oh, we put up three in the first inning. Just about to bounce back here if they want to stay in the game. A little side note for our listeners. I would like to make it known that there are people putting on sweatshirts and blankets, and our entire crew here has in blankets and sweatshirts, and Nathan is insisting on wearing a button-up. I'm pretty comfortable, to be honest. A little cold, but uh, strengthens the immune system. Ball outside. Dubai, strength the mind. Ball outside for Gwery's first pitch. And a called strike there makes the count one and one. I do seem to be behind the times here, you're right. And a hard grounder to short. Close play. Gray's not able to quite beat it. And that's going to give Alfred one out. Yeah, I would call that a uh, bang bang play over at first. Now batting number 18, Rebecca Schwartz. Umpire had a better angle than I did. Rebecca Schwartz up to the plate. Strike on the outside corner. And an off-speed pitch catches Schwartz off balance swinging. Ball low. One and two count. One out. We have number 24, Kendall Stewart, pitching. And Schwartz takes one to center field, and that's a caught ball for another out. And Caitlin Schmitz back up to the plate here today. Now batting number 15, Caitlin Schmitz. High ball. Schmitz leaves that first one. One or no count, two outs. And hit back to the pitcher for a nice easy play there at first. And nothing interesting happening in the bottom of that inning. Let's see what the next inning takes us. And we're back here at the top of the second inning. Alfred will be taking their at bats yet again. They lead by three. First pitch is a strike. Oh, one count. Brooke stole my roster. And I can't see the names anymore. One one count here. You took the roster and gave us nothing. Thank you, Brooke. Ball just outside there. Cody Watson at the plate. Two one count. Ball 
And that's going to be a swing and strike for a two and two count here. Looking for the punch out. And a ball in the dirt. Full count. And a solid hit right in that gap between left field and center. And that will be a double. Yeah, hard hit line drive, two bounced into the fence. Now batting number three, Jessica Rem. Brings up Jessica Rem, the speedy center fielder. And that's going to be an attempted bunt call for a strike. Look the runner back to second base. No harm, no foul. Smart play by Haley Coombs. Very smart play. Making sure that runner doesn't get any extra bases. And a swing for strike number two. A big swing. Jessica Rem looking to get a runner across the plate. Push the lead to four. And she fouls that one off. Looking to just waste a pitch that she didn't want to take. Oh, and two count. And that's going to be a strikeout for Petroski. Strike three, swinging. Better than watching it go by. Next up, number five, Samantha Vidal. Samantha Vidal the play on right field. Showing bunt. Pulls back for a ball. And that's a foul ball. Just out of my reach. By about 15 feet or so. Nathan almost made a diving catch right out of the booth. <laughs> if I put my life on the line, gotta do what you gotta do. Showing butt, pulls it back, a hit in the dirt. And the runner advances to third, and the throw is not gonna not gonna make it to first in time, so. Up to the plate, number on the one, corner, so one out. Wells. And runner from first is going to advance to second there. No throw. <laughs> Big swing and a foul ball. One and one count. Ball high. We got one out here with a runner on second and a runner on third. Fair ball, just barely, up the third base line. Left fielder gets it in, but everyone is safe. Their one, one came across the score, pushing lead to four. So plate number 26, one out. Abigail, that's a... Yes, it's 4-0, one out, with a runner on first and a runner on second. Gets up to the plate. Played third base last game. Ball low.
and a bump was shown and she pulls back both runners advance and we have a one and one count and a foul ball one and two. They're really working these at bats here. That pitch count is going up. And a foul tip, but catcher Haley Coombs catches it. Four and out. Two outs, two runners in scoring position. Nito up to the plate, swings at the first pitch, 0 oh, 1. And Petrovsky's gonna throw a strike in there. Oh, and two. High and out for a one and two count here. Big hit, foul ball. Had some distance behind that one. I dare say a home run distance, had to straighten it out. One and two. And that is gonna be a short little pop out to left fielder Caitlin Schmitz. And with that, we'll be back in the bottom of the second. Welcome back. It is the bottom of the second inning. Brooke Frost up to the plate. Geneseo trails by four. Looking to start a comeback. First pitch of ball. Foul ball sent back behind us. That's the second time today Nathan hasn't jumped out of foul ball. Look at me go. I'm evolving. What do one count? Another foul ball, not a reaction from me. One and two count. So foul ball up the uh, first base side. I certainly hope there wouldn't be a reaction from Nathan, but. You never know. Take a funny bounce off the dirt. Gotta be ready. One and two count. Ball in the dirt. 
skids are right past Frost the plate. Two and two. Frost fouls that one off, and Nathan does jump at that one pretty bad. That one got me a little bit. I think a little bit would be an understatement. I was, I was half paying attention, if I'm being honest, and I look up, and the ball kept getting bigger and bigger. Two and two count. Low and inside, full count. Frost doing a good job keeping herself alive here. Fouling a couple off, taking a couple balls here. Now, Brooke, this is called a payoff pitch. Okay. You have a full count here, so. Great. And Frost sends one over to second baseman who tosses it to first for the out. And we have Ray Schumacher come up to bat. Now batting number 26, Ray Schumacher. And that's a foul ball into the dirt. Off Schumacher's knee a little bit. Hope that doesn't hurt too bad. Seems all right to me. Ready to hit a ball. All in one count, one out. Janice trails by four. And Schumacher to shortstop, who gets the out at first. It's got rid of Audrey Minton. Now batting number five, Audrey Minton. Saw some power out of her bat last game. We're going to do it again. First pitch of ball. And Mitten goes to second as well, and that's a third out. We will see you in the third. We're back in top of the third inning. So seemed a minor injury during the break. I smacked my elbow off the rail next to me. I'll be alright. I need the trainer. First pitch was a ball inside. Second pitch was hit out to left field pretty good and down for a hit. Just a single as she pulls into first base comfortably. Now batting number six, Destiny Avila. Destiny Avila up now, run around first, no outs. Scoreboard towards one ball, it's not correct. There we go. Beautiful bunt, beautiful sack bunt. 
dropped it right in front of the plate. Coombs makes the play at first, but the runner advances to second. Last pitch recorded is a sack bunt if the runner gets to the second base. I'm not sure. Oh, no, you're is. right. Still a good bunt, though. Advance the runner. First ball's in the dirt. Good scoop by Coombs. I wonder if they let him get there and take a couple swings before a game. Probably not. Don't think so. Foul ball set up behind us. Not sure where it's coming down, and there it is, like a meteor. One one count, one out, runner on second base. <laughs> Ball high, 2 on one count, one out, with one runner on second. Ball high and out, 2 one count, 3 one count. Three one count, there you go. Brooks on a slight delay. 3 one one out, runner on second. Set back to the pitcher. Throws it over to first for the first out. Runner will advance to third with no throw. Two outs for the Knights here. Number 12, Cody Watson. Brings up Cody Watson, the first year. From Flagstaff, Arizona. Right around third. And... We are going to take that first pitch for a strike. Ball just outside. Coombs trying to frame it, couldn't get the call. And Watson takes that one out to left field. Schmitz makes the play, making everyone a little nervous there. But we will be back in the bottom of the third. We're back here in the bottom of the third. Geneseo down by four. First pitch leading, foul boss on the first baseline. Gabrielle Smith up to bat. Sophomore out of Hicksville, New York. Brooke, you ever been to Hicksville? I don't think I have. Man, yeah, not sure where it is. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Outside, ball one. Inside pitch, fought off, foul on the first base side. Brings to a one-two count. Smith cannot afford to be selective now. Two strikes on her.
Good pitch down the middle, takes out to right field, and caught for the first out. There's some solid contact there. There's a nice hard hit. Good piece. Number 19, Haley Coombs. Haley Coombs up to the plate. At a Grand Island, New York. First pitch taken high by the junior. One out count, one out. Takes ball two in the same spot up at eye level. Ball three, a little high and outside. Three balls, no strikes. Assume a red light here. Call ball four. Coom stayed in the box for a second. Think it was going to be strike one. But that's why you have the red light on a 3 0 count. Alfred dug out, not too happy with that. Up to that, number 16, Hannah Olenicek. Olenicek up to the plate. Run around first base, one out. Low it inside. Ball one. Good block there by the catcher, not allowing Coombs to take second on that ball in the dirt. Called strike one on the inside side. One ball, one strike, one out, one runner on first base. Big swing off the top of the ball and sent foul behind the plate. Here's the one and two. In the dirt. Evens it up at two and two. Another good stop from the catcher there. Isabella Orozco. Ball three goes by. Full count, one out. Runner still on first. Looking ready to take second though. Big swing, fouled off again down the third base side, but stayed in the dirt. Good waste of the pitch there. Didn't want to swing at that one, but probably should have because there was two strikes on her and she took that one foul. Don't want to watch the third strike go by. Full count. Ball taken outside. Runners on first and second. Up to bat number four, Tori Guerri. And Alfred's going to call a timeout here for a mound visit. Before Guerri's at bat, yes. We'll take a second and just calm any emotions. We'll be back in a minute. We're back, still bottom of the third, one out. Where is on first and second? <laughs> Check swing, but she did go around. It's gonna be strike one. Query taking a second to compose herself there. Well, deep breath. 
sends one foul behind us on the third base side. Drew a brief stop, but we're back in action. Not sure what happened there. Not my place to say. Not the umpire, I just commentate. Oh, and two count, one out. Runners on first and second. Approaches that one, but takes it. One and two. Still a pitcher's count. Hard swing down the first baseline, but foul. I'll tell you, Aguirre is ready to go. The second she makes contact, she is out of there. Yeah, approaching the ball right on, right in the swing. It's a good strategy. Get a little speed, especially as a lefty, too. A little closer to the bag already. Another foul ball on the third base side. Throwing a little more, a little more distance behind it. Really stretching this at bat out. I'm having a quick conversation with Geneseo's coach. Not too sure what the issue is, but they'll get it resolved. Guari's going to get called out there. I would assume it's for um, making contact with the ball outside of the box, but I'm not entirely sure what happened. Um, but regardless, Geneseo has two outs and two runners on, and Rebecca Schwartz is looking to make something happen here. Yeah, takes the first pitch and fouls it hard down the first baseline. A real line drive. Someone going to retrieve it. Runners on first and second. Two outs. Geneseo trails by four. One ball, one strike. Even out the count. Here's the pitch. Sends it over to third base on the ground. Tosses it over to first for the third out. And we'll be back on top of the fourth. We are back in the top of the fourth inning. Alfred gets there at bats. Jessica Rem up to the plate. Takes the first pitch outside. Ball 
outside for a one on one count. And Petroski makes Rem swing there. One and two count. Big swing from Rem, known for his speed. And a ground out to first. Gives a nice there first out of the inning. It's an unassisted out. Up to that number five, Samantha Vidal. Samantha Vidal up to the plate. That's a foul ball, and it's out of here. All in one count, one out. Ball outside. Better not get ahead of herself. Umpire's keeping an eye on it. Shown Bart pulls back and slaps it to short for an out at first. Second out of the inning. Up to bat number 21, Maya Wells. In step for Maya Wells. Senior out of California. Called strike on the outside corner. And an off-speed pitch taken to right field for a flyout. And with that, that concludes the top of the fourth. Move back to the bottom of the fourth. We're back in the bottom of the fourth. Caitlin Schmitz up to the plate, takes the first pitch inside near the hands. And Schmitz with a line drive to short off her glove, and that's going to be a single for Schmitz. She yeah, found its way to the grass in left field. And she misses over around first base. That brings up Brooke Frost. Frost. Sophomore out of Lancaster, New York. Hard ground ball to third. Fours out at second. Brooke Frost safe at first. Smart play there by the third baseman to get that lead runner. I will say I'm officially cold. I was a little chilly, but now I am cold. We have a substitution. Jane Riley. As our lovely PA announcer said, Jane Riley is up to bat. 
and takes the first strike. Jane Riley, freshman. We'll look to make something happen here with her run around first. Soft ground ball to third. Gets the out at first, but advances Frost to second. And that brings up the ever dangerous Audrey Mitten. Now batting number five, Audrey Mitten. And another ground ball to third. Makes a diving play, but the throw will not get there, so she doesn't throw it. Audrey Mitten safe at first, broke Frost on third, and up at the plate, Gabriella Smith. The runners on the corners, two outs. Batting number eight, Gabriella Smith. Ball outside. I'm not sure the Alpha Dare would like that call. Gabrielle Smith at the plate. One out, two outs. Runners on the corners. Whew. Takes it a little high and inside. Elms off the elbow guard. That might have hit her shirt, honestly. May have. She's not calling for it, so not there might. And that's going to be a called strike. 2-1 count, two outs. And runners everywhere but second. Smith looking to do something here with two outs. Keep the inning alive. And that is going to be a high fly to right field, and that's going to be a caught ball for an out. That wraps up the fourth inning. We'll be back top of five. We're back at the top of the fifth inning. Abigail Gatza at the plate. Gatza is a senior from Burlington, Ontario, Canada. First pitch, ball low. This game's going by quickly. It is. I'm not complaining. I'm a little chilly. Ball inside. Two balls now. Two and oh. inside. We have a three out count here. No outs. Assume red light. Strike on the inside corner there. High. First batter walk. Up 
to that number 23, Megan Nito. Run around first, no outs. Alfred holds a 4 nothing lead. Might see a substitution over there at first. Looks like Ty Thomas might take over running duties at first. And that she does. Megan Meadow up to the plate. Junior from Miami, Florida. And we are going to take that first pitch for a strike. You ever been to Florida Brook? I have. Me too. Go to Disney or anything? Yeah, once. Yeah, me too. A lot of fun down there. Nice and warm and humid. Unlike today. Hard line drive out to left field. Schmitz looked like she fell there trying to get to that ball. But she is going to get tagged out at third. Some good aggressive base running there. Run still scored. Yeah, further the lead, but uh, out being a little too aggressive heading to third. Still a great hit. Isabella Rusko up to the plate. First pitch, a strike on the outside corner. She's a senior from Burbank, California. And a little blooper over the infield. It's going to give her a single. Coming to the plate, number six, Destiny of Ewa. And Brings up Destiny Avila. Alfred has one out, one runner on first. Ball outside. It's going to be a one out count with a one out. Runner around first. A foul ball makes Nathan jump out of his skin. That one's online yet again. And the count is 1-1. One, one. one ball, one strike, one out. One runner on. And where are they, Brooke? They're on one. It's 5 nothing in the fifth inning. And we're going to take a swing at that one. One and two count. And a big swing for strike number three. Gives the Knights two outs. One runner out. Up to bat number four, Brielle Wark. First pitch, little high, little outside. It's Brielle Wark at the plate. East Amherst, New York. Sophomore. And a foul ball. I'm not able to catch it. I never saw it until it came down, so uh, definitely didn't flinch at that one. One and one, two outs. We'll run around first. Ball high. Coombs checks the uh, first base runner back. Two and one. Big hit up the middle. Center fielder not able to get there. That is going to be a double. And one run scores. Yes, yeah, stand up double there. Push the lead to six. Looks like we're going to see a pitching change. That's going to be number 20, Michaela Bucci. And we will 
take a break while she takes a few warm-up pitches. And we're back in the top of the fifth. Two outs. Right around second and a pitch inside. A lot of movement to my left. Shaking our whole booth around. Doesn't seem to care. Ball outside. 2 and 0 count. 2 0 count. Two outs. Top of the fifth. Off the lead 6 nothing as the clock hits 6 o'clock. If the video image is shaking a little bit, you can direct all your complaints to Riley Damrell. High fly ball in foul territory, caught by third baseman Rebecca Schwartz for the third out. We'll be back in the bottom of the fifth. We're back in the bottom of the fifth. Out for lead six, nothing. Ball one is taken up at eye level. And Coombs takes that one to right field. Caught ball. I would dare call that right center field. That was just not in the gap. It was just a little too high. Too much loft under it. Uh, too high of a launch angle, if you will. Wow. Don't need to get all technical now. Get stat cast out here. Now batting number 16, Hannah Olenichuk. Oh, someone different on PA now. Hannah Olenichuk up to the plate. Takes ball one. Hit to right field, but it's a caught ball. The right field's a hot spot right now. We recorded both outs so far this inning. Tori 
Tori Guerry. For Tori Guerry. Tori Guerry looking to shake some things up with two outs. Ball high and outside. One and zero. Hard hit to short. Not able to beat the throw. And that will be three outs. Alfred still up 6-0. And we'll see you in the sixth. We're back here at the top of the sixth. L for leads 6 0. Looking to complete the two game sweep. First up. Pitch, low and outside. Got a strike on the outside corner there. I believe they even the count at a one and one. It sure does. Ball inside. <laughs> Foul ball. Two and two count. No outs. You know, Brooke, I'm a really a glass half full kind of guy. Doesn't even feel cold anymore. I simply lost all feeling in my body, so I'm more comfortable now. Two and two. I'm glad you found a way to cope with the cold. Thank you, I appreciate you. Ball full count. just outside for full count. There you go. Ball taken high. Ball four works the walk. We have a runner on first base now. But perhaps a different runner in a second. Maybe quick substitution. Now batting for Alfred, number 24, Kendall Stewart. Look at me go. Darren McHenry will take over at first base. Oh, I was wrong. I apologize. Jessica Rem. Can't see that far. Ball 
ball in the dirt. Good block by Coons to not let the runner from first advance. Up to the plate is 24, Kendall Stewart. First year pitcher out of Kennedy, New York. Ball outside. Two out count. No outs. Hard foul ball. Out the right base side. Two one count. And a hard swing for a strike there, making the count two two. That's called an even count. Still in the pitcher's favor, though. Short ground ball to third baseman. Gets the out at first. Minton making a diving catch over there at first. That's the first out of the inning. For Alfred, number 29, Alexa Wulowicz. Leonard advances the second, though. Alexa Wulowicz up to the plate. Sophomore from Valley Stream, New York. Strike on the outside corner. And a hard swing for strike number two. We'll take a foul tip into the glove, maybe. Oh, two count. One out. Right around second base, ready to move. Smart pitch outside to make sure the runner's not going anywhere. One to two count, one out, runner on second. We know that Rem has some speed over there on second, looking to take third. Ball inside, two two count. Definitely don't want to hit a batter here and get someone out of first. No free bases. And a pitch in the dirt. Coombs, once again, doing a great job of blocking it. It's quickly come a full count. And that's going to be just barely outside for ball number four. We have one out. Crawford, number 26, Abigail Gatsa. One runner on first, one runner on second. Abigail Gatsa up to the plate. Two runners on, one out. Takes the first ball high. <laughs> ball outside for a two and out count. And that's going to be a called strike for a two and one count. Hard foul ball at the third baseline. 
I still don't understand how these third base coaches don't flinch at that. That went right past his face. Yeah, you got to bend your toes over there. It's the hot corner for a third baseman and third base coach. And that's going to be a called strike number three for the Knights' second out of the inning. Ring her up on that one. Two outs. Nine Runners nine on three, first and second. Three, Megan, Neto. Megan Neto up to the plate. The Miami native. Pitch number one is a strike up the middle. An off speed pitch catches the batter off balance. Oh, and two count. Oh, and two count is exactly what I was just going to say. Uh, two outs. Outside. We've got pitch out. One and two count. And pitch in the dirt with a swing. But that was going to be a drop third strike and the throw over to first will complete the strikeout. And it will conclude the top of the sixth. We'll be back with the bottom half. And we're back to the bottom of the sixth inning. Becca Schwartz up to the plate. Takes the first pitch. Call the ball. Foul ball out the right base side. Er, the first base side, I'm sorry. <laughs> the right base side. I've just That's invented some new terminology. The cold's getting to your head, Brooke. I've just invented a new base. New position. And a ground ball to the second baseman for the out at first. Now batting number 15, Caitlin Schmitz. Caitlin Schmidt up to the plate. A junior from Eden, New York. Brooke, you ever been out to Eden? 
Yes. You got there off? Yes. That was a called for a strike. Someone call your hometown. Oh, one, one out. No runners on. Hard hit by Schmitz over the infield. And that is going to be a single. Now batting number three, Brooke Fraz. Brooke Fraz up to the plate. Lancaster, New York. I'm really reading off the hometowns fast today. And first pitch is going to be a ball low. It's the kind of insight only I can bring to the game. Right, because you're the only one holding the roster sheet. Don't even need to look at it. Foul ball. Sit back behind the catcher. One and one, here's the pitch. Hard back to the pitcher, is gonna turn and make the force out at two. And turns the throw to first, not able to get it there in time. That's just gonna be one out. There are two outs for Geneseo, and we have a substitution. Amanda Audia coming in to hit. And a quick throw on that strike to uh, first base, but Frost gets back in time. Yeah, throw behind the runner. Don't see it too often, but it almost worked there. All on one count, two outs, runner on first. Hard Big hit, hit to the third baseman who's able to get the out at first. And that will conclude the sixth thing. We'll be back at the top of the seventh. We're back here at the top of the seventh. Alfred might be the last at bats of the game. Ball low. Nathan, I have a challenge for us. Yes. I we have it. to learn a bunch of the Geneseo softball cheers because we're going to be doing most of these games. Uh, after last year, I had ended up learning a lot of them, whether I wanted to or not. I just hurt them so much, and uh, it was fun. Ball inside, 2-0 and count. Strike 
Drake on the outside corner. And that would be a ground out to second base. One out. Now batting for offer number six, Destiny Avila. One out, Destiny Avila up to the plate, Long Beach, California. Strike on the outside corner. Oh, and one. inside. <laughs> Two and one count here. Sorry that Nathan has gone silent. He is trying to deal with a spider in the booth. We have an intruder up here. <laughs> Making me a little uneasy. Cannot work under these conditions. Two one count, one out here in the seventh. No runners on. Ball just low. But a good gust of wind. That feels great. Three one count. Spider taken care of. Foul ball straight back. Guys are trying to warm themselves up over here. Nathan took care of the spider by putting it on our supervisor, Riley. <laughs> he still does not know. I, I don't think he's aware of it. That's all right. Full count, one out. And that is going to be a called strike three. It's a backwards K in the scorebook. Absolutely. Now batting for offer number four, Brielle Lark. Two outs for the Knights. My left hand is out completely numb this weather. Ball in the dirt off of Coons' face mask. Hope she's all right, but she's laughing about it. They ever happen to you as a catcher? Oh, all the time. Yeah, it's happened to me a couple times. That's an umpire, too. Definitely uh, puts a little pep in your step. One and no count. Two outs. Ball high. Got two balls, no strikes. And two outs. Bucci trying to find the zone here. Three out count. Red light situation. And a college strike. Pretty much right down the middle. Three one. And a swinging strike number two for a full count. Nathan is doing squats to warm himself up. Look up the muscles a little bit. Really glad that he's behind the camera instead of in front of it. And that's gonna be ball number four for a walk. There's, uh, there's no world you'll see me on a baseball field after uh, my, my, my baseball career. Consistently one of the worst batting arms on the team. However, I had the most fun, and that's what's really important. And I say there's a reason that you're behind the backstop here instead of that's in front right. of it. There's few sports you can get me in front of the camera. Now batting for offer number 14. Softball is not one of them. 
as much as I would love to just take BP one of these days, they might not work. I think it would be more out of a fear of hurting you. Might be able to redo our Athletes vs. AFCOM series. Yeah, that would be fun. I would love to. First pitch inside. One and oh, two outs. One runner on first. And a strike, Pete, in that outside corner. Nice inside pitch from Bucci for another strike. One and two count. Eileen Hine at the plate. First year from Chicago. Pitch outside. Throws there. But did not make the catch. And the runner is safe at two. Brooke, I never thought to ask you. Do you have a favorite professional baseball team? <sighs> if you don't, it's okay. I'm going to not say it for fear that people would not like me. Will you tell me after? Yeah. Okay. And dead ball hit by pitch. The uh, runner at second is going to be forced to stay there, and now there is a runner on first as well. Two outs. Hard line drive up the middle. That's going to score one and leave two runners on the corners. Now batting for Alfred, number five, Samantha Vidal. Elf for the middle of a two out rally here. Runners on first and third. Ball outside. Coombs looks down that first base runner, but does not throw to two. And there is a runner on second and third now. People should bet the New York Mets is your favorite baseball team. That's <sighs> a bold move. I regret telling you. Could be worse. The gentleman to my left is by the Cleveland Guardians. One on one count. Surrounded by Guardians and Mets fans up here. I don't take the blame for it. This is a hostile I, work environment. I blame my father who forced me to watch the Mets growing up all the time. And that's going to be a... Pass ball, wild pitch, and it's going to score a runner and advance the runner from two to three. Two balls, one strike, two outs, and one runner on third. Big piece of that ball. Foul on the first base side. Not the right base side. Not the right base side. But you know what? I think we can call our right field side ball girl right base. I think that's her position. That's her position? Yeah. All right. Let her know. Two and two. Ball three on the outside edge. Full count. Two outs. <laughs> that was crazy. We're on the same wavelength now. Ground ball to short between Frost's legs. And that is going to be a single that scores. Pushes the lead to nine. Now by Nick Crawford, number 29, Alexa Wulowicz.
and the runner advances from first to second. And we have a one on one count. And a ball outside. Here we say two one, two outs. Warner on second base. And another strike for Bucci. Two two count. Looking to end the inning. Two and two. High fly ball. Coming in short. And Frost drops the ball. And run scores, and the runner is safe on first. And coach is going to have a visit here, and we will be back. And we are back. Foul ball off of the shin of Gatza. All one count. Runner on first, two outs. Big hit from Gatza. Hits the fence. And one run scores. That's going to be a double. And there is going to be a pitching change, and we will be back once again.
and we are back after the pitching change. Amanda Audia pitching for the Knights. And a foul ball. We have an 0-1 count, two outs, one runner on second, and Alfred leads 11-0. Off speed pitch for another foul ball. I gotta beat the streets. I'm just gonna beat the streets. Speed man is for my face. Oh, and two count, two outs. We'll run around second base. And a called strike number three on the outside corner gets the Knights out of the inning. And we will see you in the bottom for the Knights' last opportunity to come back. We're back here in the bottom of the seventh. Geneseo's last chance to come back. Lauren Gulick batting for the first time today, I believe. Lauren Gulick out of Fairport, New York. Not too far from me. And a strike for an 0-2 count. for Gulick. Grounded to left field. And that is going to bring up <laughs> Olivia Coons also hitting for the first time today. Not to be confused with Haley Coons. Nope. Olivia Coons. Freshman out of Chictawaga, New York. Big swing for a foul tip strike. And that's going to be called a ball outside. One and one count, no outs, a runner on first base. That's going to be a ground ball to third. Got the out at first, advanced Gulick to second base. Number 12, Warren Babich up to bat, also for the first time today. Nathan is losing circulation in his hands. Slowly but surely, yes. Babich with a ground ball back to the pitcher for an out, but a Gulick advances to third. Yeah. 
Two outs, runner on third. Geneseo's last chance here. Number 21, Emily Sylvanus, up to bat. Hard hit, fouled on the third baseline. One on count, two outs, runner on third. Alfred looking to close this game here. Another foul ball down the third baseline. One and two. So it could be the last pitch of the game. <laughs> Ground ball back to the pitcher. Toss over to first. And with that, Alfred will take the win, 11-0 in this game after winning the first. Kendall Stewart, first-year pitcher for Alfred with a shutout. Thank you, Brooke. We had a lot of fun today. We will see you next time. We'll be back.